How you doing? My name is Byron Smith. Um, just giving you a little brief synopsis of my life, my life story, things I've been have done and haven't done. Um, it's been a struggle. So a lot of things have went on. Um, I have been a workaholic since the age of fourteen. Um, doing well. Became the host of state president of a health organization in in uh, Votech. Um, that was a proud moment. Um, from then on, held a job since I was 14 on down until I was like 25. Um, got in a little trouble. Still try to make positive influence in my life, you know, from things that I've had done. Uh, it wasn't a, a, a bad crime, but it was something I did do, and I'm still kind of paying for it, but I think it's about to pay off, you know, this year. Um, and it just shows you can't excel. Uh, through hard times, bad times, things that you've been through, it's it's it's, it's all about self-preservation. I mean, you have to honestly j just put everything aside. You know, you care about family and other things that people are going through, but you still have to initially dig deep in yourself because if you can't heal yourself, you can't heal other people. You know, I'm always a positive influence. I'm always you know I always get people calling me for advice and different things. But the major reason I think that um, I've been a great influence is on my mom. Um, I've seen her go from modeling to working in you know malls as managers, uh, almost in movies, almost doing cartoons and things, to getting hit by a drunk driver and being sick. So. It's it's as a, as a young person, it's a lot of things to deal with. You trying to juggle school, um, working, and then your mom. You know, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot to do, but you still have to do it. And you know, because that's you know, she took care of me to get me to the place. So why not take care of her? Why not be there for? Her? Why not do things she needs me to do? She didn't ask to get hit by the driver. You know, she was driving, trying to work, trying to take care of her kids. But she was a single mom. You know, my father was there, but. You know, it was still a dividance when I was younger because of, you know, other family things and you know, what was going on, but that's okay. You still live through that. You don't hold that against yourself. And, you know, for the young men out there, it's, it's it, you can do positive things. You don't have to turn to being in jail, staying in jail. If you go to jail, okay, something happened, it was bad, okay. You move on from that. You try to find ways to better yourself. And that's the things I was trying to do was try to better myself, you know. Um, I was... Um, I, I managed restaurants. That's what I did. Um, I was there. I did that for almost ten years, and then I got in trouble. So just imagine having to go from doing that at being young, spending money or whatever. You know, you had really no responsibilities. You're so young, and to being <laughs> having to work at a bar. You know, nothing's wrong with the bar that I work at, but having to work at a bar to maintain went from having big amounts of money to just working with you know a small amount I get paid per day so it's it's it, it's a lot you know I still I stuck with it after coming out of prison you know what I did with the fraud it was you know it was, it was okay I mean it was something that happened I was very sorry I'm still very sorry for what I did but I think it made me a better person to see some things that it was going wrong in my life and things that I wasn't doing and things I should do you know um, I'm not a perfect person I, I still strive to excel and do things, but you know, my major concern is, is, is I think I have two, is for myself, working at a bar, you know, had a place to stay. Working at a bar, just bought a home, you know. So it's things you can do, and I'm only 31. You know, I just, I just, I just turned 31 in January, January 17th. Um, but getting back to with my mom, you know, that's not my best inspiration. I do. I'm there for. You know, she needs me. We go through our fusses and fights because we're both. You know, we have our separate lives. We still, you know, we still have a tight family. My brother, uh, Darian Bowman, my mom, Faye Cross, my dad, Byron Smith Sr., you know, my sisters. You know, I, I have a, a close-knit family that I still keep in touch with, you know. But negativity always lurks. You know, it's always things being said and things you can do. But it, it, it's so much other things that we can do to keep ourselves out of that way, you know, and that's what I try to tell the people, you know, I, I talk to certain little groups and, um, you know, my younger siblings and people, you know, because I work at a bar, so it's a lot of things that have events they have and 
and I have to speak in some things, you know, to try to get people, you know, not to go that route. I've been there. You don't need it. What's the point of doing all that? And, you know, you can be a positive influence. You know, people call you, people to to cry on the phone with you, people that you think don't oh, macho and all, they call you crying. It's like, wow, you know, that's it's, it's, it takes a real person to do something like that. But it takes a, a better person to be able to handle it and for them to want to come to you. So they must see something in you. You have to be a positive light. You have to always follow, you know, what's right. You know, things I haven't always. But I'm not going to let that hold myself, you know, hold that, let people or let my, let me hold that against myself. I, had, I got in trouble. I know I'm not a bad person. I didn't get in trouble until I was 25. I had been working since I was 14. It showed, you know, perseverance. I was trying to do something. Made wrong choices. It happens. But I still better myself. I'm a home order at 31. No, not just as the market is down, but I still, I still am a home order. It doesn't matter how it is. It's still a home owner. Or something that you're doing to you know better yourself and, and better the community you know it's, it's a lot of positive people here i just do what i can do i've been through a lot you know as you're home being with you know having to work so young and even drive young because you know your mom's sick you have to do things to you have to step into that role you know you're the only one there you know i have a brother you know but he's into his own thing he does what he does but i still i have a I said a closer knit, you know, I'm, I'm there, I'm just the more dependable one. Love my brother, love him to death, you know. But, you know, we did two different people. The where, where I'm just like my mom, he's, you know, a little different. But he's still, we still love her the same, there's no difference, you know. But the more of my story is, it's, it's harder coming from a single parent home, you know. It's, it's it's one sided because they're trying to play both roles so you really don't know and you it's kind of hard for the people in your family if your family is not close they're always fighting so it's like you know you, the uncles and the other people that you look for, look for in examples you really don't have because there is almost negativity so you think of them negatively you know but you still can't let that get to you you have to still strive to do better and you know, do things for yourself that will make you a better person you know I, I've just been I've been blessed <laughs> so far the stuff that I've done and I thank him so much for you know just putting me through I haven't been the model I used to I used to go to church you know every day but just something happened you know the, the last time I went was in May of 97 that was the last time I've been to church you know on a, on a member you know praising God love I, I still love God I still love him the same but it's it was just something that I just saw in the, the church that reminded me so much of the world it just kind of worried me like wow I just seen that you know and I just I kind of steered away I still love him the same I still you know pray you know like I, I don't pray like I should but I do pray you know I have to but it keeps my mind sane you know I've been through a lot and it's just this this last year a lot of things have been just going through my mind about things I should have done and a lot of things have started to change around even this even this be me nomination I have never Besides the host state president, I have never won anything. Won or, or when I applied, I always applied negatively. Even this, when I applied, I said, "What well, is something to do? Let me just go ahead and do it." I didn't expect to even get a call. So the call surprised me. It was, it was, <laughs> it was very surprising. I was just, you know, because I th thought so negative of myself. And I don't know why, but I'm starting to change that now because I am a good person, and I can't let anything and anybody. You know, destroy that. You know, that's how you should feel about yourself. You're a, you're a good person. No matter what you've been through, what you've done, what happened, you're still a good person. You have a good heart. You just made bad choices. That's what it is. It's nothing more, nothing less. You know, you don't beat yourself up for things that you've done. You know, the world will do it enough. And you don't need to, if, you beat, if you're beating yourself and the world, that, that's a double whammy. That's, that's not, it's not going to be a good look for you. And I was doing that for a long time. But now, you know, it's just some things I've seen about myself that I have to change. And to make myself better and to be able to even talk to a greater mass of people about I mean, what I've been through. Maybe my story will touch somebody and help people. That's what I wanted. I want to help people. I want to help them see it's not all about, you know, the things the world has to do, you know, to get a certain level that we feel like we're somebody. You know, that's not what it is. As long as we feel like we're here and we're doing the, what it takes to get there, that's what matters. That, cause that's, that's all it's going to be in the end. It's always you. When your heart stops beating or when you, the last breath is still, it's you. It's not them and, you know, whoever everybody thinks about you is going to be you there. You know, the doctor closed, you know, puts the shit over your face. It's just you. It's no one else but you. So that's how I feel. And I, I love people. I love to, you know, help people. I love to, you know, make people feel good. You know, some people, 
They go through badly. I love to smile or crack a joke and say something to them to make them feel good. You never know what you might say to a person. Be anywhere. It, it, it can help them. You know, you can be, you can uh, smile. A lady can see you smile. A male can see you smile and then you, you're laughing at something, but they don't know what you're laughing at, but they just get blessed and, you know, they're happy to hear like, wow. He said, well, I wonder what he's happy about. You know, I'm going through this, but, you know, that smile just made me, you know, think about something. Okay, maybe I need to change it. Why am I mad? I mean, let me get excited. I like stuff like that because it makes you feel good when you can bless people or just your mere presence. <laughs> Walking in the room, people just, you know, they get, you know, they feel a, a, a special sense. You know, that's good. That's, that's something that you want. It's not, you don't want people to think negatively when they say, oh, here he come, you know, or something like that. No, it, it, it happened. But my thing is, you strive to be better. You strive to be a positive influence on someone. Help people out as much as you can. You know, if you can't help them, don't, you can go out of your way. But, you know, I mean, you don't have to. But if you can, you, you will get blessed. That's what it is. You know, you help people that you can help on you do what you can do you can't go overboard because you still have to realize it still is you and you have to if, if you don't if you're not that positive influence know where they're going to come from so you got to keep yourself together keep yourself up so they can always look to you you know we go through our things but you still have to bounce back and be a better person you know learn from our mistakes and not keep making the same mistakes again you know that's that's just how i feel um this was a great opportunity i want to thank the people of be me the me be me project or calling and having me do the video, it was so surprising. I, I'm look, I was just packing. I just moved. I'm getting ready to move into my new home that I bought. You know, it was, and it was. I got the call and I was packing glasses. I was like, wow. I thought it was a, a lie, <laughs> but you know, I was just so surprised that they called me. And, I, and I'm very glad to be a part of this. Um, I hope my story touches you. I, I mean, I have a lot more to tell, but I didn't want to make it too too long. You know, I can. You know, if we need more, I can still do more. But it's just a, a, a young man who striving to be better, made mistakes, and it's bouncing back, you know, without going through the system. Went through the system once, name is in the system, but that's fine, you know, they can keep it, but it won't be there for long. It won't ever be there again, and the next time they'll see me, I'll be somewhere in lights, and they'll say, you know, I can go back and tell the person, the, the guard, when I got out of prison, they told me, huh, you'll be back. Sorry, buddy, I won't be, because that's not where I needed to be. I shouldn't have been there, but I was. It happens. So, the next time you see me, I will be accepting an award or you see me on TV somewhere. Thank you, Be Me Project. I hope this video enlightens you, helps you, makes you feel good, and makes you want to do better. Thank you.